Well, time is running out for you to get your snow boots, dust off those shovels, those snow blowers, because if you haven't heard, parts of our area are expecting the first major snowfall of the season. Now, it is looking like the brunt of this is going to be north of the city, and there's still a question of if the city will even get an inch of snow. It hasn't snowed an inch or more in 690 days in the city, even longer in places like Philly and D.C., but this storm will provide plenty of people a chance to remember what it is like. Yes, definitely the anticipation. Meteorologist Regan Meji spent the day with folks getting ready for this weekend's weather. She's live in East Chester with more. Regan. And you know what, guys? There are people who are still not snow believers with this system moving through. Some say, I'm ready for it. Others say, it can stay away. But when, however you look at it, the place to be is the hardware store. I'm looking forward to the snow. At Cornell's hardware store in East Chester, not every customer is convinced they'll see snow. So, you know the storm's coming? Uh, I, I don't believe. I think it's not, it's nothing is going to be around here. You think? It's going to be just a lot of rain, I guess. But if you ask manager Valerie Souza, most customers believe the snow is coming and with a smile on her face explains it's great for business. They're in a panic as quite often happens. Um, the most important thing is the salt or ice melt. They call it all call it salt, so ice melt. Other things are the snow brushes for the cars, the ice scrapers and shovels. Even the MTA is preparing. We have snow fighting trains, tow trucks, de-icing equipment. We've outfitted our, our, our own trains to be able to allow them to run through the bad weather. The way to keep the tracks clean is to keep the trains running. We're not planning on canceling any service at this point in time. And so is Westchester County, yeah, as rain, County course, Executive yeah, George Latimer pass. explains. So we're out. We're going to brine roads uh, on Saturday, late in the day on Saturday, to try to make them more easy to remove snow. We're fortunate in that we're not looking at a, a, a commuting day. So Saturday night, Sunday morning is probably the time of the least amount of traffic on our road. So that's good news. Now you could use a shovel, you could use a broom to remove the snow, and maybe many of you tuning in want to finally use your snow blower. However, it hasn't been used in quite a while, so coming up in the 530 hour, we will be talking about what you need to know to make sure your snowblower is ready to remove that snow.